Hey y'all, how's it going? All right, I have a little card for you tonight. Um, we are going to use the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Much to my dismay, I like the VersaFine uh, Claire ink, <laughs> but um, I am going to be doing a little something with water. Not exactly what you're supposed to do, but anyway, something with water. So um, I am going to uh, to use these. And this is a Unity stamp kit. Um, I believe this large one, I don't know about the sentiment. Um, I take all mine off and like put them in little categories or whatever. And um, I'm just going to hit that one more time if you guys don't mind. Um, just those. I want these two a little darker, but okay, so that'll work. Um, we are using watercolor paper. Let's see which kind. Not that it really matters. I think most watercolor paper are probably pretty similar. I don't know. Uh, this is by Ranger and I don't know. Whatever that is. Okay. So I'm using, I like to stamp on the smooth side. I mean, there is like a rough textury side. Um, and that's fine too, you know, but um, I just like the the smooth side it feels more like stamping or something to me okay um i just this is a distress sprayer really awesome if you don't have one uh for using with the distress inks and all that good stuff but we're just getting some water in there i just need like a little tiny tiny bit okay so i also have a block here and Maybe, 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 yeah, maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I need like a fine thing. Uh, I've been scribbling some color on, but I don't know. I think, nope, not that end. These are the Spectrum Aqua markers. And be honest, I got these because Lindsay, the frugal crafter, um, did a demo with them, and I loved it. And I haven't ever used them like that at all, <laughs> to be honest. I haven't really used them very much, to be honest, um, at all, in general. Um, so if they have this little wide thing here, this wide doesn't have it. This is like the end that, that I prefer. So it's got like a really fine tip and then the brush tip. So that's what I like. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna go over. I don't even know why I sprayed that because I don't need that yet. Just getting a little hyper with my water. Um, okay. Uh, I thought when I did the marker it was just gonna stay and I would spray and whatever, but I see that I scribbled it early trying to get ready and it's already dried up, so whatever. Alright, um, so I'm just going to hit all these little leaves. And I love these little hanging plants. I can't think of what they're called. A, no, it's not terrarium. What's it called? I don't know. Anyway, it's cute. Um, I like them. And But you know what? I don't think... I don't know. I do kind of like these. But aren't those pink sometimes on a little cactus? Let's stop and I colored one, but maybe we'll do these others in pink. I don't know. I think I'm going to go for it in a darker green anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I am. I am. Um, anyway, if you want to watch a, a good demo on what these markers can do, um, check out her channel. It was kind of an older video, so I have to search for it a little bit, but um, they're very, very nice, and I definitely want to try to start using them more. I tend to use all markers, like markers, like even with Copics, I won't blend or whatever. Um, those little, oh, those little tiny ones I have, the markers, I love those. I think it starts with a K. Or something. What are those called? No, the zigs. It's a Z. Um, but anyway, uh, 
I like this green. What's that called? Moss. Anyway, um, so I do like those, but uh, and I but I just rarely, I rarely ever use them. I think I'm just gonna go this color on this too, and I just want some of that blue watercolor all around it for the most part. Um, I what kind of inspired this card really was um, I had more of that yellow that I used for the like the sunflower girl out and nah, I guess. Um, and then now I'm totally not even using that so I don't know why I even why I even did that but um, I'm using a color sort of like this for the second layer cardstock and I kind of like it better it it goes with my um, my drips or whatever you call that better hmm. Could put this in there. Little air plant things. I don't know what are these called. Somebody comment below. I cannot remember my. Uh, hmm. Well, I'll add this color and then I'll add the blue on top of it. I love that. It's kind of like I want it to look like a the jar, you know, the glass kind of thing. I don't know what I'm going. That's sort of it. But this color is going to be rather close to the other blue. And I don't know if I want that or I don't. It's okay. You know, I always cut out too. We can try it again if it does not work. So what y'all been doing tonight or this weekend period? Uh, um, today is Saturday. I probably won't. See this till Sunday because it's like um, not going to upload, I assume, until tomorrow. Um, my stuff takes so long to upload, it's weird. Anyway, um, I had a boy that I used to have in school come and cut my weeds today, just do a little weed eating and things. He's trying to do his own little business and it's just cute and um but because he was like like i almost wish i could just hire a guy off the street or something because um like i wanted to make sure like took him something to eat and something to drink and told him you know sit down and rest and <laughs> whatever just i don't know like i feel like he's still one of my kids and like i need to make sure you know he's okay and has a good experience um i don't know it's weird. I don't normally do that with the random, I don't know. I want to do that, a color. Maybe, no, nah, not gold. Yeah, maybe just this color again. Just, just to blend in there. But anyway, um, so he did a good job. I was proud of him. But, um, I'm just going to go ahead and color this too. And then... We might just go over it with the blue. If it blends, it does. If it doesn't, it's not a big deal. I don't know. Uh, I really want some of that blue, though. I'll just do a little of that, a little of that, and then we'll fill it in with the blue, maybe. Maybe that was a better idea. Should have gone with that. Okay, and it's dry. Again. Um... Anyway, but it almost, it took so long that it almost felt like company coming, you know, <laughs> strange. And I had to, because I have to like be out there and introduce everybody to the dogs and make sure um, the dogs are like okay with them and all that when somebody new comes. And um, I have one dog that's kind of like a rescue dog and he, he just has a lot of issues. Um. Apparently a somebody male, he's great with women, um, has been mean to him in the past. And, uh, hmm, let me dip it. Um, I don't know if y'all can see this. Okay. Just get a little bit more water so it just flows down a little. And this, like I said, this is definitely not, <laughs> not the way that you're supposed to use them. You can do all kinds of things with them. So don't 
don't judge anything by this. I just want something rather flowy. That's not even enough blue in there. I want it, I don't know, I want it blue and green. That's my problem. And if it blends in there, then it blends. If it doesn't, then that's okay. All right, I need some more blue. Um, but anyway, so the dogs liked them. I gave them lots of treats to, uh, to give to them first. I'm going to do it down here now. Um, get some more on there. It's going to blew it up a little. Uh, I don't even know. I well, gave him lots of treats to give to the dogs so that they could warm up a little bit faster to him. And, uh, um, that was working pretty well, except, except with the one that I was telling you about. And he's like, mm, -mm I'm not having that. But he did eventually warm up to him, so it worked out well. But, um, and I knew they'd like him. I mean, he's a good kid. And, uh, he's got a good little heart and all, and so. I mean, he's a, he's a big boy. Like, I don't want you to think I've got, like, a 12-year-old mama grass. I think he's here to turn 20, but I feel like, like, when I had him, he was about 12, 13. Well, I had him actually, like, way before that. Like, when he was little on up to about 12 or 13. So, um, that's sort of... <laughs> The kids are, like, forever in my mind as that age. It doesn't matter if they're, like, 40. So, <laughs> but anyway. Um, and I'm so excited because his uh, his mother came to pick him up. And they um, found him a truck while, while they were gone or whatever. So, he gets his first little vehicle, yay. And I was really excited for him. I think I was probably more excited than he was. Um... So hopefully he'll do well with that. I'll have to buy him a keychain or a something to celebrate. I don't know. But anyway, I'm glad that, you know, he's a trustworthy person and that kind of thing. And somebody to, um, to run the weed eater. Because father can't, boyfriend is taking care of the aunt. And it is way too heavy for me. I did try my aunt's the other day. Hers was lighter, but man, I'll just stick with cutting the grass, I do believe, and they can, I'll go ahead and pay to have the weed eater done, I mean the weed eating done. Okay, so it's kind of, I want it to flow a little bit more, but I guess, I don't know, maybe I need another color. Let me try some of this. Ah, uh, yeah. So, probably shouldn't stick the brush, like, right in the thing, either. I don't know. Maybe I should just give it a spritz. What do you think? Let's just spritz it. <laughs> Maybe it'll just make things, no, not that one, make things flow a little better. I wanted a little bit more drippage, but let's just tap it off and see, see what we get. Yeah. Okay, I think I like it. I like it enough anyway. I would like it better if I had more blue on that. Let me just color a little blue in there. These lid, the lids are hard to get off, I'll tell you that. Let's just give that a little something, something, that a little something, something. So if we do it direct to paper and then go over it, we'll see how that does. I don't mind that as bad. Yeah, I think it's better with that touch of blue, don't you? I don't know. This is not the way to watercolor, y'all. <laughs> but it is tonight. I want a drip. Give me a drip. Drip, drip, drip. Okay. So now I need one to match it over here, kind of. Little one right there. All right, better, 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 better. Anyway, somehow that wore me out today. Company, not, not really company, but you know what I'm saying. Does somebody here? It just really does. Ugh. 
I'm glad to have it done, so whatever. All right, so I'm just going to, this is the way I draw it. <laughs> Should probably get a heat gun, right? <laughs> Wouldn't take my ink away as bad then, but I will. Um, hmm. I want to spray something pearly, pearlescent over there, but I'll show you the rest of it. So I did my favorite embossing folder, of course. Hang on just a second. Let me turn my, my text messages off here. Um, so I picked this. So I originally, where's the other one? I originally picked this because of the sunflower thing. And it, I think it could go with that too because of that marker. But I do believe that I like that combination better. So that's what we're, that's what we're gonna go with. Anyway, this week has not been my favorite week, I have to say. My dentist that I was telling, I think I told y'all about, I don't know. I can't remember what I tell you. But, um, I'm sure I did because I hate the dentist. So I'm sure I was whining about that. Um, so I took off Wednesday and he called, it was like right in the middle of the day anyway, which was annoying. So, um, and I live far away and apparently the dentist had called the office that morning and said that he had migraine and that he, but he would be in like half a day so they didn't tell me until the half a day point which means I was headed out the door leaving and because um, I do live quite a ways from there and uh, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and put it down I don't think it'll like sometimes with watercolor stuff it sort of ruffles up a little but I think it'll be okay um, But anyway, um, so it was too late to go into work. My hair, even my hair looked good that day. And a hair never looks good. Not anymore. And uh, it was all curled and all that. Even when I try to curl it now, going to work or whatever, it just, it doesn't do whatever. But it did today, and it, I mean that day, and it looked good. But, oh well, that was such a waste. So all I did was go to the post office, and then I went to like a, a local hardware store, because my father had been talking about, um doing getting well first he wanted to get treated wood but then he was reading up on it and I don't know lots of cancer causing stuff in the thing and then they said they like I don't know it's like they took that out or whatever um that looks like a mess let me just turn that over because that's bugging me um so I'm going to use these Nouveau Dream Drops in the color Frosted Lake and I think that will um match that pretty well. So we'll see. I feel like my machine is not trimming very well. I have to shim almost everything. Do you guys have to shim a lot these days if you have a, a big shot or whatever? I don't know if my stuff is just getting old or I don't know, but I have to put a shim to get it to cut lots and lots of dyes. I don't know what's going on. Um, but anyway, so I went by the hardware store and I ordered him um I only got 25 cinder blocks because I knew he had some but um we want to do it like a raised bed garden and uh so uh wasn't really sure how many he needed but I wanted to kind of surprise him so um and I had those delivered and uh so that was just like not far from us but um so anyway, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put one right there too. Um, I love those little things. <laughs> I feel like I put a little bit too much, but whatever. Uh, so that turned out well, but um, of course he was fussing because I could have got them cheaper somewhere else and whatever, but they're here, they're delivered, he doesn't have to like whatever, and it's hard on him to do all that, so um so that's pretty much all I did that day. I was so annoyed that I didn't even stamp or anything. Like, that would have been the perfect day had I known. I just, but I didn't want to take off. I even had a training on, um, what was 
calls it human trafficking, I think. Um, but anyway, that I skipped to go to this dentist appointment. And so now my appointment is not until June, which was what it was originally going to be. But they had, this was the only cancellation they had. And so I was excited to get in and get taken care of, but oh well. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is happiness is a way of life. You just have to, you know, suck up the bad stuff and just be happy. Just put it out of your mind, go on, move on. You know, bad things do happen, but just try to keep on keeping on. And um, I do believe happiness is a way of life, but it's something you have to really practice to not let the small things, you know, what do they say? Don't sweat the small stuff. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that is a daily challenge, <laughs> but keep focused on happiness and just make it a way of life. So anyway, guys, thanks for joining me for this horrendous little watercolor card. But, um, but like I said, these, uh, uh, what are they called? Spectrum Aqua Markers are pretty good. And, uh, if you use them, you know, in the correct way, um, not just like this, but, uh, they do do a good job. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye guys.